The U.N. General Assembly is calling for a humanitarian truce in the besieged territory. The White House said it supported a humanitarian pause to allow critical aid into Gaza, where heavy shelling intensified, as you saw overnight. But National Security Council spokesman John Kirby added the U.S. would not be drawing any red lines for Israel. Natalie Brand has more from the White House. Natalie, good morning. Good morning, Dan. And the president is now at his home in Delaware, but a senior administration official tells CBS News he will be updated through the weekend on what's going on on the ground. President Biden departed without commenting about expanding activity on the ground in Gaza. Sources told CBS News earlier this week the U.S. had sought to slow Israel's plans for a ground offensive while publicly signaling unwavering support. It wouldn't be helpful for me to speculate and get into hypotheticals about what the Israeli defense forces are doing or what they will do. Um, I can just tell you that they have every right and responsibility to defend themselves against Hamas and to take the fight to Hamas and the leaders that are sheltering behind civilians. National Security Council Coordinator for Strategic Communications, John Kirby, told us the U.S. will continue to share tools and perspectives with Israel while still trying to prevent the conflict from expanding beyond Israel and Gaza. We have been worried about an escalation and widening of the conflict since the very early hours, which is why the president sent such strong signals to any other actor in the region, including Iran, that we don't want to see that. On Thursday, the U.S. carried out airstrikes in Syria, targeting two facilities linked to Iranian-backed militia groups in response to a series of attacks against U.S. forces in Iraq and Syria, 20 since October 17. The Pentagon says 21 U.S. service members were injured. 19 were diagnosed with mild traumatic brain injuries but are now back on duty. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin emphasized the strikes are separate and distinct from the conflict between Israel and Hamas, but says if attacks by Iran's proxies against U.S. forces continue, we will not hesitate to take further necessary measures. We don't want to see hostilities. We're not interested in a conflict with Iran, but we will absolutely do what we have to do to protect our troops and our facilities and our national interests. Now, back to Gaza, Kirby said the administration is still working on trying to accelerate humanitarian assistance to civilians there, saying the White House knows it's not flowing at the scale and speed that it needs to. Jeff? Natalie, thank you.